Hi everyone. So I just got in the Diatone Roma L3 uh, frame kit. Now this is a 3-inch, uh, uh, could be considered a long-range uh, micro frame kit, and you can also get a, uh, an analog and also a digital bind and fly version of this, but I just got the frame kit since I already have electronics, like the Cadex Vista, and also I'm going to use this Hi-Fi Honor C F7 uh, all in one, it's 25 amp, should be plenty. And then uh, these motors, the Amex in 1303 uh, 4000 kV and a shout out to uh, Yannick G who uh, guessed that this was the frame I was gonna put these motors on so well done on that guess uh, so here's the frame let's just uh, see what comes inside I haven't opened this yet go, what do we got? look at this pretty uh, comprehensive looking fold out uh, manual and exploded diagram assembly instructions and also it uh, should be noted that the uh, uh, between the uh, Diatone, uh, the 3-inch uh, and the 4-inch version, I believe the uh, center sections are the same. It's just the arms that are different. So this looks pretty good. So I'll set that aside. Like already, you've seen some uh, nicely sealed pieces here. Open those up in a second. Under that, what else? What's in here? Oh, look. That's oh, got the injection molded uh, camera mount which I think I'll use my SMO on this at least once. You know, I ordered one of these from Pyro. I didn't know it came with it. So that's nice that it comes with this. Here's assorted hardware. Camera mount, some TPU parts, screws, and everything else. I'll open all that up. Looks like a very nice strap. Mm-hmm. Some antenna tubes for uh, XM+. It looks like this is a 3D printed uh, mount. We'll see about this, maybe for the receiver or something. Oh, you got a whole set of screws. I'm sorry, I didn't even see that. So, looks like you've got a complete set of straps here, three different sizes. So, all the options there. Very nice to include all those. And a nice looking battery pad. So, that looks like everything that's inside. Pretty comprehensive, I would say, based on my initial inspection. So, let me take everything out of the bag and see what kind of the hardware is in here. But uh, this looks uh, totally complete with the. Uh, even some extras thrown in. Okay, so here's the uh, frame, just a dry fit together. And it's a uh, pretty nice looking frame, really nice design. So you got, uh, there's uh, press nuts in there and uh, sort of a sandwich system. And the two back arms are kind of braced against each other so they don't move. And the front arm is one piece, but uh, like I said, the arms are three millimeters, so quite strong. And if you did break it, you could replace them uh, pretty easily with this design. And also interesting to note, the full-size camera does fit in here with no problem. You can see there, so it fits the full-size camera. And then if you were to use the Nebula Pro, which is slightly smaller, standard size, I think you can meant to use these little spacers here uh, for the uh, Nebula Pro or for 19 millimeter cameras. So I think this is 20 millimeters to accommodate the full-size uh, Vista camera. And so now let's see how much this thing uh, weighs. So what do you think? Here we go. Oh, 44.3, so a little bit lighter than I thought. It's under 50 grams, 44 grams. That's actually not too bad. Okay, so here is the completed uh, build, the Diatone Roma L3. And I think I'm going to treat this just as a sort of a, a three-inch digital model. I'm going to forego uh, GPS and uh, putting the SMO on there uh, for now, because if I want to do both of those things, I have the Flywoo Explorer uh, to enjoy. And also uh, a couple of things I wanted to point out with this kit. I do like that it comes with this very nice... Uh, mount for the SMO or for a GoPro or something else on the front, but it's really heavy. This thing weighs about uh, 10 grams, and then once you add like a little 3D printed part to hold the camera, this thing weighs about 14 grams. And I think that makes sense on a Roma like 5 inch or maybe even the 4 inch version, but on this little 3 inch, I think this f injection molded mount with the big uh, nut and bolt through it uh, is a bit overkill for this, so I'm not going to run this. Uh, maybe I'll 3D print something eventually to run the SMO, but if I'm going to treat this as a 3-inch uh, kind of freestyle build, I'm not that interested in putting the SMO on it because the SMO is not really for freestyle because, you know, one or two bad crashes and that thing is just going to be destroyed. So I think it's just more for uh, long range and cruising and getting nice cinematic footage. But for freestyle stuff, I think you want something a little bit more robust. And my freestyle isn't really special enough anyway for me to want to record it. So that's why this one is just going to be just this, a plain, so to speak, 3-inch uh, digital uh, freestyle quad. And I did leave the... Uh, the plug for the GPS. It's still wired up in case I do want to add it at some point, uh, but for now I'm not going to run it because I don't intend to fly this uh, long range. And I just have a little small crossfire antenna, the mini one just zip tied to the front. Works okay. 
and it comes with the 3D printed parts if you did run a uh, full size uh, Immortal Tia antenna out the back. It has two of these so you can run that antenna back there, which is probably the best setup. So the front uh, two arms are just uh, one piece and obviously uh, very strong and this thing is really quite strong in, in all directions so it's really well designed in that way. So front piece, front arms are one piece, they're easy to replace if necessary, but they're also very thick, three millimeters, so I think pretty hard to break these arms. Uh, one thing the kit did not include is, uh, it didn't include motor screws, and since this is a three millimeter uh, thick arm, you're going to need like five millimeter screws, uh, two by five, and those are a little bit odd, most screws are two by four or two by six, but thankfully I had was able to find enough spares in my uh, set of screws to uh, fit at least three for each, and I think with this strange a motor hole pattern which is designed for 9 or 12 millimeter um, motor mounting you can use that uh, three screws and you can see my screws don't quite match but they're all the right length and while we're looking at the bottom see this sort of sandwich system here There's two plates and a nice place to run a velcro strap through there if you wanted to run the battery on the bottom and also a nice touch if you look at the uh, top here see this uh, battery pad that they included this little uh, center section wasn't used but you could use this discarded center section and use this uh, on the bottom as a little simple battery pad uh, if you run run the battery down there so that's kind of nice not sure if they intended that but that's what you can do and here you can see how the two back arms are braced against each other in there and so they don't really move at all it's very strong nice design there and there you can see the uh, vista sitting on the top of the back plate and i might put some tape on there to stop these wires from coming out and then I've got the uh, Hi-Fi on RC F7 that I just mounted on the whoop size mounting right in the middle. And there's also 20x20 20 20 mounting. And you could easily fit a double stack 20x20 20 20 in there. But I've just got this all in one. Another nice thing on the kit, it included this little plastic plate. There's a whoop size plate and also a 20x20 20 20 plate. And I just used that on top of the flight controller to have somewhere to mount the receiver just with some double sided foam tape. And that works out great. And then uh, for the, uh, so working back here to the Vista, you can see I have just a little simple zip tie mount for the Vista antenna and this little 3D printed part here that you see is just something I designed real quick. Uh, just a little strap that you can put a zip tie on for the antenna so that works out alright. Oh and these uh, propellers are something new for me I haven't tried these yet. These are HQ prop uh, 3x1.8 with uh, two millimeter shafts which is uh, a match for these uh, uh, these Amex NO uh, 1303 motors have two millimeter shafts so I wanted to get props that had two millimeter shafts so now this is uh, ready to fly, so let's see exactly what it weighs. I'm going to guess it's in the 120 gram range. Let's just see. Can you see it? Make sure. 126 and a half. So let's call it 127 grams. So that's not bad. I think um, that'll make it a nice kind of 3-inch uh, uh, freestyle. A little bit on the heavy side it's not an ultralight so it might have some fling ability let's say but uh, 126 with no gps or anything like that uh, but uh, should have decent power and should get an okay flight time with this uh, battery but uh, let's go find out